That's that's a bit strange. I don't know why they allow me to make fishing posts like that, but okay, they do. What we'll do is we'll expand in this direction with this town anyway. So we'll have some fishing posts over here. And they'll be able to move their way upwards. Yeah, this is going to be a fairly large town, actually. It's going to be larger than this one. Slightly larger, that is. Mostly because it's further away, quite significantly so. Did I pause? I did. Okay. And I think for now we can go ten times speed. Because it's crop yield, it's late summer, which means we're going to start harvesting. And I feel pretty good about that. What is the current input here? Okay, then that's all... that's actually pretty bad. Why is it... Why is this one significantly better and this one is sort of meh? Is it because it's right next to a trading post? That might be why. And I could be wasting time with fishermen. Because, I mean, last year it was only... 339, it's usually 1k. So, I mean, we should really work with this. Uh, tools are low again. That's not good. Why are tools low again? Okay, I'm going to go back to this. Because I think we've run out of coal. Yeah, we have run out of coal. So, we're just going to make some standard traditional iron tools. Here we are. We'll make some iron tools. It's going to lower the efficiency of our town, but oh well. We'll still be making some decent tools. Same with the clothing, actually. We should um, go back to just some wool coats. Or hide coats. We don't have much leather. But we probably have a significant amount of wool. So we'll just make that for now on. And there we are. The storage barn is under construction. It's looking pretty good. Someone has died of old age. Who is just a, a standard laborer. So it doesn't really matter to us too much. Beautiful. Okay, now that is being fully constructed. We can now move this along here. There we are. Actually, we'll just move it along this far. Ah, oh, late autumn. Shit. That was very quick. Okay, we need to have more firewood. That's basically what we need more of. And um, we need firewood to be created down here because housing is going to start becoming more of a thing here. And we'll want it right in front of this area. And then we want a house here as well. There we go. And now we want to have a nice fishing post here. I paused again. I keep pausing. It's annoying. There we are. I want it as f close to the edge as we possibly get it. That's actually a bit awkwardly placed. So we'll have it here. There we go. And then we'll have a house here. For them to live at. Okay then. So this town's going places. We're going to make a farm here as well. And probably another pasture is probably a good idea. Like if we make another pasture, a fairly large one as well, like here, at this corner. <laughs> I think that'll look pretty cool. There we are. So we'll make that right there. And then we'll have more housing around this general area. There we go. And we just need one person to look at these areas, which is always nice. Uh, more builders is nice, because we just got a significant amount of uh, laborers that have just come in. <clears throat> we need more deaths, actually. People are too healthy. We can't sustain this bloody food supply. We need to get this done as quick as we possibly can, otherwise we're going to run into trouble very quickly. So more builders is nice. Just get loads of builders and start constructing like crazy. And we need to have... Foresters and that lot here, I think is a good place. I keep pausing. I keep clicking space. I don't know why. I think because... Is space turning stuff in Timber and Stone? I think it is. That's why I keep clicking it. Okay, then. Another trader's coming along. That's always nice. We can actually have another trading post here, which is always nice. Uh, we should think about doing something like that. And that was a very quick winter, actually. Uh, we'll have a hunting post here, though. And then we'll have a well here. That's a good idea. Let's have a well right there. And we also need... To have a forester's lodge right next to this. There we go. And another gatherer's lodge as well. Uh, a gatherer's place. Where is it? It's in food, I'd imagine. Gatherer's hut. Awesome. We'll have that on the other side. There we go. And then we'll make some more housing. Done. Uh, we'll actually get rid of this because it's off a little bit. There we are. Two more houses. And then we can have the gatherer's hut again. There we go. 
Awesome. Okay, then food is once again a bit awkward. We can work with that. Well, we can't work with that, actually. Food's running out quite significantly now, to be honest with you. So we've got to be kind of careful. Otherwise, bad things could take place right now. Because our growth is just escalated quite significantly. So it's actually kind of scary. There we are. And what we'll do is we'll have a sheep here. There we are. Maximum of six again, unfortunately, but okay. One, two, three. Uh, there we go. Twenty there, so we can have more fishermen take uh, working in this area. And uh, we can have uh, one more person working here. And now we need another farm. And we want it to be massive. We want it to be huge. And we want it to be along here. Along there, or... Along here is probably a better place for it. There we go. 15 of 15 is max by the looks of it. So we'll have it there. Beautiful. Yep, food has gone down very, very quickly right now. So we've got to be very quick here. Oh, we may need to buy food. <clears throat> okay. So now we need more people working in these hunters' lodges. Uh, cabins, even. Uh, less builders. We want uh, nine people working at these places. And we want more gatherers. There we are. There's more people gathering food in that lot, basically. Uh, less builders again. More people working at these places. Right. It's going places. It's okay. It's going fairly decently, I suppose. What the hell's happened here? Oh no, disease! A pasture has developed an infection. Shit. And that's where the chickens are. So all the chickens are probably dead. That's not good. And it's slowed down our time quite significantly as well. Alrighty then. So a pasture has developed infection. That's really bad, actually. We should really change it to chickens, but I think all of our chickens are dead. Alright then, we've got to keep our eye out for the infection there. Uh, the yield is coming for this year's gathering. It's going places, okay. Hopefully the farms up here can actually uh, deal with the situation. So sheep should ho hopefully be transferred over to this pasture over here. And then uh, good things should start happening. What's the yield for fish this year? It's okay, it's going places. We've got loads of food growing in this direction. It looks like this farm is going to be created soon enough. We could take people from the stone cutters and mining positions and get them to do some farming on this area over here. Right now the food levels are sort of staying in, you know, the stagnant in this place right now because they're still collecting stuff from this year. It's early autumn which means uh, winter is coming. <laughs> winter is coming. Oh no, that's not good. We're all gonna die. Um, yes. Oh my god, the last episode of Game of Thrones. I don't- I haven't read the books of Game of Thrones, um, because I don't want to spoil it for myself. So, you know, I just- I also prefer watching things. <laughs> Reading, you know, it's okay. It doesn't give me- Well, it's okay, but I, I guess I've just grown up watching stuff more than just reading things. I'm okay with it, but, you know, that's- that's just something that's happened. But I like to watch the Game of Thrones series because the acting's fantastic. The, the way they've made the- TV show is brilliant, and I bet the books are just just as good. And I probably should get round to reading them, but meh. <laughs> but meh. I would rather watch them, because that requires less effort. <laughs> Basically it, ladies and gentlemen, requires less effort. Okay, so, one, two. And, uh, one, two. Uh, one, two. One, two. More farmers. The food yield has gone up, but it's autumn, which means we still need to go through a winter without anything happening that uh, could destroy us all. They still have quite a lot of food in that area, so it's all right. This town up here, though, is uh, growing very quickly, in fact. And this crop field won't, like, it won't happen until thingamajig time. And all these woodcutters have definitely helped out with the maximum fuel. We still need a lot more of it, though. And having more of these guys is probably a good idea as well. There we are. Some more foresters' lodges, because uh, the wood levels are running out fairly quickly. 
And just take more people off these areas because we don't need them so much. Is 10 the maximum amount? I'm looking for it. Uh, 10 of 12. No, okay. So we want to take two more off and make... Actually, we need more people that are getting food, to be honest with you. So apparently we need another woodcutter. Okay, then. We'll make another woodcutter then. And anything else? We don't need this many builders. That's fine. Herdsman. We have enough of those. Gatherer. We can have another gatherer. That's always, that's always nice. And uh, I guess that is fine. Yeah, another forester. And we'll get rid of the one of the miners. And make another forester. Okay, then. We're just gathering more wood in that lot, to be honest. It should be nice and fine. There are no sheep currently in this place. Which is a bit annoying. Did we kill the sheep, then? No, the sheep are still alive. I think all the chickens are dead. Yeah, all the chickens are dead, unfortunately. God, that really sucks. But hopefully... Yeah, I want to split it. Removal animals from this pasture requires another pasture capable of holding the animal. Six of two. So hopefully this should not kill them, but move them to the other pasture. I want to split it, but it won't... It's not going to allow this to happen. No, okay then. So it may have just killed them all. Three of six now. So we have three of six sheep, which means we just killed a bunch of sheep. Weak heart. Old age. Okay, more death is fine, to be honest with you, because... Well, I don't want to condone death, okay? Stay healthy, you know, live a long and very happy life. But, you know... If there's too many people, maybe... No, I'm only joking. Mm. Ah, beautiful. Lots have been happening in this episode right now, these bunch of episodes. Mostly the uh, handling of food, which is going higher now by the looks of it. It's actually going significantly higher. I'm not too sure where all the food's coming from now. I think maybe it's coming from this one fishing post. No, it's not. For some reason, these other fishing posts are nowhere near as good as these ones. Like this one... Last year's yield was 1,260. This one was 1,800. This one over here, 1,230. But then this fishing post is only a measly 651. Then again, it is growing from what it previously was. Maybe the yield increases to a certain cap when it's old enough. Maybe that's what happens, you know. Could be. Sheep would be nice. I don't know why it's not working. I want to split it. I want to split it, okay? It's not gonna... It's not gonna happen. Zero of zero. Empty. Okay, and I guess we're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> we're just gonna have to wait until something good actually happens. The year has come for more farming tools. For more food, let's say, is required. 600 venison from this, uh, this year, which is actually pretty decent. And what about the... Yes, loads of food is being gathered from the gatherer's hut. I think it was a good idea for us to make another town, because it looks like the food problem is becoming less of a problem. More housing, though, is required. I want to build around this area. There we are. And we want to make a house here, and then we want to make another one here. There we are. I don't know, just make some randomness happen. Okay, and it looks like a new trader, and a resource merchant. Tools. Do we have a tool problem still? Nope, we have 74 iron tools. I think we are good with tools, sir. Uh, wool coats, however, that is a problem. People are using up these coats like there's no tomorrow. Uh, so I think buying some of those might be a good idea. Can we afford that, though? I don't think we can, to be honest with you. So I don't think we will. It's early spring, which means it is the year 35. It's been five years. That's pretty great. Uh, well, it's been 35 years, but five years since we started this uh, session. Which is pretty cool. And uh, the farming has begun. And that should uh, help out with the current yield. What did we get y last year from this farm alone? 1,568 wheat. From this farm, we got 1,400. From this one, 700 squash. Feeling pretty good about that. We do need to have another big farm. This is a big farm, probably the same size as this one. 
So we get we should get roughly nearly 2,000 uh, beans, which is pretty cool to think about. And hopefully some more fish from this. It will happen. It will get there one day. I think it just needs to have some more surrounding area of water. I think that's the problem, really. Like this area, circles covering mostly water than it is land. Same with this one. Whereas this one's got sort of a uh, trading post in the way, which doesn't help us out. So that's generally the problem there. Some more stone as well is always good there. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, go to ten times, because I want to get this done. I want to see how much food we get, okay? I want to see the entire expansion of our lovely towns here. What I want to do is make some bridges here. Because I did say I wanted this, wanted this to be a connecting town. So I want to have a nice bridge. Oh, yeah, I said a nice bridge. Right here. There we go. We'll have a nice bridge there. And we'll have another nice bridge. There we go. Like here. There we are. And that should be nice. Because I like to... I want to connect this town between this l lovely river. Because I think it would look kind of cool. And look how much beans we have here. It's fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing the, uh, the yield. Uh, reserve for logs are low. Okay, they are low, actually. Hmm. That's not great. What we can do is deforestate this area. We just need more foresters, really. I think if we have another forester here, I think it would help us out. Of course, then they have. it takes them a little while to actually get to storage points, which isn't great. Also, they'll be within the ring of influence, and we don't want that to happen. But logs are low, so we gotta we gotta watch out here. We're making quite a lot of firewood, so we probably do want to just uh, harvest some wood generally, like right here. There we go, right here, right there, there, there. Just go nuts with the wood harvesting for now. Eventually, I like to think we'll make a, a better yield later on. Like last year, this got 42, but this is new, so this got 57 logs this year. And I have to imagine this wood cutter, which I believe is the oldest one, should have got a much greater yield. 177. That's okay, actually, for, you know, a decent year. You know, they mostly plant and, you know, keep an eye on the land for the most part. So we don't have to worry too much. I kind of want to take a herbalist out of here. Because I don't think we need that many. Happiness is down, though. I think that's mostly because of the escalated population. We just need to slow it down. That's all we need to do, really. Just keep it nice and slow. There we are. And I think on this side we'll make another farm. Actually, I think making another farm here would be a good idea. A slightly smaller one, but it will have wheat. Yeah. Right here. There we are. I think it's a good place for another farm. And what will happen is we'll build around it. Because I like building around farms. It's always nice. And these houses in the middle of these farms look really cool as well. And this town right here is really coming together. It does look significantly different to the one that's down here. And they do look quite close to each other, but they are actually quite far away because of this very long stretch of road. It does that take them about a month. <laughs> no, well, it takes them a couple of days to actually get to this town. That's the way you've got to really think about it. Because time is running right now at ten times. It's taken quite a long time for this person right here, this family. Actually, it's just a person. To get to even cutting down a few trees over here. It does take a long time. The wood is back up, though, which is always nice. The tools are looking okay. The food is going up quite significantly so. And we want to make some more squash. Yeah, more squash is a good idea. And it's autumn anyway, so we can't really do more with that. But what we can do... I wish we could make smaller churches. That would be a much greater uh, thing to do, to be honest. Making some more houses around this area would be nice. We'll do that later on, however. And someone's actually cold.